Lenny with English language session eight. So this session I begin uh, with the task last time I had given in my previous session uh, is the past tense of hang, hanged or hung. So it is hanged if we talk in terms of somebody being hanged to death. And if you hang something on the wall or somewhere else, so then the past tense is hung. So in session eight, we have some participants with us and this session is recorded online due to the pandemic. Uh, so our first participant is Noreen. Uh, hello, Noreen. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, but very scared of this pandemic. Uh, so Noreen, you mean to say scared? Uh, scared means frightened or you're afraid of something and sacred means holy, like uh, a sacred book, a holy book. Okay, Noreen, uh, do you get goosebumps while listening to uh, this COVID-19? No, I did not see the bum of goose. <coughs> Uh, Noreen, I did not say bum of a goose. I said goose bumps. So goose bumps is uh, like uh, when the hair on your skin, they get erect and there are bumps on your skin due to fear, excitement or cold. So they are called goose bumps. Okay, Noreen, how are you spending your days in this lockdown and this pandemic going on? Just being here and there. Being? Just being here and there. Just being here and there. I think you meant to say peep. So peep is when you look at something very quickly through a narrow opening. So that is peep. Right? Uh, on the other hand, uh, peeing is an informal word to urinate, to pass urine. And again, this word is pronounced as urine. Many people say urine. Urine is incorrect. You pronounce it as urine. Uh, okay, Noreen, would you like to tell us or tell people something about this pandemic COVID-19? As it's very sticky disease, it sticks from one person to another. We don't say sticky disease. Uh, the word uh, is contagious or infectious. So when a disease is spread from one person to another by direct contact, so then that is uh, an infectious disease or a contagious disease. Uh, thank you, Noreen. And now we move to our next participant, Adil. Adil, uh, how do you pronounce this word? Click he, if I'm not wrong. It's not click he, it is cliche. Cliche is a phrase that is overused, right? So one of the phrases that we are disgusted of listening to is last but not the least. Everywhere we go, we are people saying last but not the least. It's a common example of a cliche. Another word for cliche can be hackneyed. Adil, how are you spending your days in this pandemic? Very good question, sir. So, yeah, in this pandemic and in this lockdown, I'm eating food of cow to build my immune system. And yeah, also I spend time with my pet cat. The foot of cow, you call it trotter. So you are eating trotter diseases. And Adi, tell me something about your pet cat. She has a big mustache. The mustache of an animal, we'll call it whiskers. Whiskers. And Adil, can you tell me what's the difference between disinterested and uninterested? Well, I believe both these words have different meanings and people confuse them. Uh, uninterested means having no interest and disinterested means impartial interest. Let me see if I can explain you with any example. So, yeah, if I say that judge is uninterested in the debate competition so it means that he's not interested in it whereas if i say that a judge son is participating in the debate competition but the judge is disinterested so it means that uh, 
a judge is interested in the debate competition but he is not interested on favoring him like his son so yeah that's what i think about this uh, yes uh, it's quite well explained the uh, thank you uh, a last question from you what's the meaning of itsy bitsy or sometimes you say itty bitty well i think uh, itchy bitchy means the bitch like the female dog who feels itchy uh, i did not say itchy bitchy i said itsy bitsy or itty bitty it means small very tiny it's an adjective anyway thank you adil for your participation uh, we move to our next participant amar amar how are you depressed i think after this pandemic i will become hairless i will have no hair uh, you meant to say bald yes sir and i often wear an omelet in my neck to stay safe amar how can you wear an omelet in your neck it's a small thing we wear in our neck to stay safe from evil oh uh, you meant ambulet uh, th- that we call an ambulet Okay, last question from you, Amar. Uh, what is the meaning of infidelity? Uh, fidel means to touch, and infidelity, I don't know. Uh, infidelity is when someone is disloyal to their spouse. Thank you, Amar, for your participation. Uh, we have a next participant, Asmat. Hi, Asmat. Asmat, are you a metrosexual? <laughs> No sir I am an innocent guy. Uh it's not a bad word. Uh it means uh, a man who is interested in fashion, shopping, taking care of himself. Uh Asmat I will ask you another question. What's the meaning of a scapegoat? Uh I think the goat that escapes run away. Scapegoat has nothing to do with goats. uh actually it's a person who suffers because he is blamed uh, for the mistakes uh, wrong doings of others so that person is sca- a scapegoat uh which in urdu many people say qurbani ka bakra uh okay asmat uh, i would ask you a last question would you like to share any recent news that you have read or come across about the pandemic i read that all kitty parties have come to an end I did not get what are kitty parties. I hope they are not the parties of kittens. Please help me to understand that. Uh, obviously, uh, kitty party cannot be a party of kittens. Actually, it's a social gathering of women, uh, where women gather and each uh, of them contribute some money. And in that social gathering. then there's a draw and one of the women she gets uh, the amount that's a kitty party uh, anyway thank you asmat and before we move to our next participant uh, we'll have a little quiz and then in the end we'll have a last participant these are the five participants of the quiz so let's move to our first question Uh, how would you pronounce this word let's see the psychiatrist 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 most of you have got this word right Let's listen to the correct pronunciation once again. Psychiatrist. So the second question is what's the english of the urdu word kaam chor? A person who shirks work or obligation. Let's check out the responses. not sure but i will go with lazy uh kaam chor a bludger a work dodger an idle person 
I think uh, Fenian. Thief. Scrim Shank. Kamchor. The common word for Kamchor in English is a slacker or a shirker, a person who shirks work or obligation. The next question is also related to pronunciation. So how would you pronounce this word? Entrepreneur. 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 Entrepreneur, I guess. I don't know, sir. To some extent, most of you have got this word correct. Uh, but whenever you say this word, the beginning sound is aw. Entrepreneur. And the stress is on ner. Entrepreneur. Now all of you are going to read this sentence correctly. My colleague is working hard. My colleague is working hard. My colleague is working hard. Sorry, I don't know. My colleague is working hard. My colleague is working hard. Many people tend to mispronounce this word as colleague, but it is pronounced as colleague. So you'll say my colleague is working hard. What's the error in this sentence? I and Tina went to the market. Let's check the responses. I'm not sure about this, but according to me, it should be like uh, Tina and I went to the market. Tina and I went to the market. Tina and I are going to the market is supposed to be the correct form because it is a rule that uh, the singular pronoun has to follow the proper noun uh, i think it's a syntactical rule in english i don't know i don't know sir some of you have got the sentence correct and the correct uh, sentence is Tina and I went to the market. So we come to the end of our quiz round. Hi Amar, uh, do you know anybody who is suffering from COVID-19? Yes Lenny, uh, they are asymptomatic. Uh, one of my friends, the doctor gave him the injection in Butok. The word is asymptomatic. Asymptomatic means a person suffering from some disease, but he's showing no symptoms. And the next word you said is buttocks. It's not buttocks, it's buttocks. Buttocks are the lower fleshy part that form your bottom. Okay, Amar, uh, what do you mean by epidemic and pandemic? Epidemic is a disease which affects large number of people within a community, country or region. Whereas pandemic is a disease that is spread over multiple regions. Uh, good explanation of pandemic and epidemic, Amar. There's another word, endemic. Endemic is a disease that is found or restricted to a particular location or area. Like uh, malaria in some parts of Africa, it's an endemic. Okay, thank you, Amar.